What is going on, guys? This is the Club of the Man, 1993. This is episode number 243 of WWE Turn Alert. As we have another face turn that seemed to have been confirmed um, this past, I guess, well, this past Saturday at SummerSlam. As Edge, who returned after being written off TV, um, the Raw after Hell in a Cell back on July 6th, when they formed a new member of the Judgment Day, Finn Balor, who joined with like no momentum and no story at all. No legitimate heel turn, just showed up and said, yeah, I'm in. Basically, it's all it was. And then Damian Priest basically said, we gotta get rid of some, some uh, old trash, which is you. And they take out Edge, and Priest does this vicious razor's edge, no pun intended, uh, tossing Edge through the table, and he was written off television. In the past, within the past few weeks, well, past month, there's been these vignettes, which a lot of people thought was more so of a sign of um, Bray Wyatt coming back to WWE. It ended up, of course, being Edge, which was pretty obvious. There was stuff about the Dudley Boys and John Cena and Seth Rollins and a few others, which even though, yes, The Fiend can make a gripe about that, but it all seemed definitely, you know, more so pointing towards uh, Edge for sure. And it was Edge. Who returned during the, the no DQ tag match between the Mysterios and the Judgment Day? Um, he appeared with like a fire entrance, basically to me it looked like like, like the Brood. A lot of people say it was a combination of the Brood and the Rated R superstars. He had the shades on, the very short hair that he had gotten cut, of course, before he had been written off as the Judgment Day. So it's obvious he's back as a babyface. What exactly the story is going to be going forward, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be teaming with the Mysterios, even though the Judgment Day still only has two males and one female. That's three males. And yes, I know Rhea Ripley's being a badass trying to take out, you know, men, which is awesome. But they may need a female member to their little group of them that they're doing here. Who knows? Or the Judgment Day may just need another person. I don't know either. Uh, but obviously, this all happened only because um, when Vince was still around... He wanted to take more of like a supernatural or something like that uh, turn with the Judgment Day. Edge wasn't for it. So because of that, they wrote him out of the Judgment Day. Which made his feud with AJ Styles look a little pointless. And it's kind of left the Judgment Day in a little bit of a rut also. Even though I still have the faith that the Judgment Day is going to get turned around. Because as I keep saying, I know when Triple H... Has him on his show. Triple H trusts Finn Balor with with being like you know running his show. I mean he he was NXT champion for two hundred ninety two days. Uh, he was called up and immediately you know put into the Universal Title picture. Uh, when he got brought back to NXT, Triple H put the title back on him again. Like it's obvious that Triple H knows how to make Finn Balor a main event star. Edge, of course, though, does have a lot more creative control, even with with or without Vince. So, my thought is maybe having gone to a feud with Finn Balor. So, Edge being a heel, they could have gone on longer with it. I mean, it was hard because it felt like, you know, it was taking a little... Like, something was missing from the Judgment Day. Something still kind of is missing from the Judgment Day still. But, his heel run was kind of a little bit, bit of a waste. He won matches, yeah, but it, it didn't really do much for him. Didn't do much for AJ. So we'll see where this new character leads to. Especially, of course, if they were originally having him be, be a heel and, you know, fight a lot more baby faces as that's the fresher opponents. But we'll see what happens. We'll see if Edge pulls this off as a baby face or if this is really a long-term thing. Maybe he will go back to being a heel soon. We'll have to wait and see. But it's one of the things I say. I'm not, I don't hate it. I also don't really love it yet either. I just gotta wait and see what it is. So yeah, what are your thoughts with Edge being a babyface? Do you think that if Triple H was was in charge before Edge got right now the Judgment Day, do you think Edge would still be part of the Judgment Day? Make sure to leave your thoughts down in the comments section below. And of course also, if he faces Finn Balor in a singles feud, you think he should put Finn over? Again, leave your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure to always do slap a like on the video. Subscribe for more content on my channel. And follow me on Twitter as well, at DemandAirborne83. Until then, guys, as always, please stay tuned for more. WWE.
Turn alert.